Well, it's Devil's Night. Got the fire. Got my drink. Got my... Oh uh, yeah. It's almost that time. What's going on guys? Welcome to 31 Days of Horror. I am Morgan Film Fan. Let's jump into some scares. Tales of Halloween is a film that was released... Uh, I can't find it back here. <laughs> Obviously the date will be uh, posted because I will be looking at IMDb, but I didn't look that up yet. But um, this is a film that I just randomly found and I am a sucker for anthologies. I absolutely love anthologies. They're a lot of fun. Um, any like horror-based, Halloween-based anthology is always going to be up my alley in general. So I'm always going to be checking every single one out that I can. And uh, this one, I like I said, randomly stumbled upon and the poster was awesome. So I had to include it this year, obviously. Uh, there's 10 stories in here with a wraparound. And the wraparound is basically a radio DJ um, played by Adrian... Uh, Shit, she has to be back here. Oh my god, they don't even name her. I think it's Adrienne Barbeau. I know, I'm pro I think it's Adrienne Barbeau, but I do know she is a horror screen queen, so that I know. But basically she's a radio host and she's doing this Halloween special on Halloween night. Yes, this is Devil's Night, but uh, <laughs> it, it takes place on Halloween and it's 10 tales taking place on Halloween. Um... Most of them are good. Most of them are actually really, really good. There's only a couple here that are pretty, that are kind of dull. But uh, that's the thing with anthology anthologies too. A lot of people don't like anthologies, anthologies for that specific reason, and that's the biggest complaint anthologies get is the fact that um, you know you get some stories that are great, you get some stories that suck. This one, the majority are like four out of five or five out of five. So this is a good collection of stories. The wraparound is kind of just there for being there and the ending just is really abrupt you get the 10 stories and then it's like okay have a good night and it's done but uh for 10 tales of halloween they're great now obviously anthologies are hard to talk about because each segment is short and easy to spoil because they're literally like five minutes usually or less so um well some are longer than that but the the general plot is pretty simple usually and pretty to the point so it's hard to talk about without just spoiling the whole story but i wrote them down so i don't you know forget each one but i'll go through the gist very very briefly of each one i don't remember the names of each anthology either and i didn't take down the names but i just gave like the general points of them so the first one i do know the name of it's called sweet tooth and basically it's about this uh, kid who's being babysat by this really really hot girl and um she uh, is with her boyfriend and her boyfriend tells him a scary story about this kid whose, you know, parents uh, did something very mean to him and then the kid kind of turned into like an evil kid kind of thing. And then things go from there and there's a climax to it. Um, the second story, there's this film called Satan's Little Helper and I have not seen Satan's Little Helper. However, from what I gather from the film Satan's Little Helper, it just seems like a short version of that. Um, I can't say for sure because I haven't seen Satan's Little Helper, but basically it's about this kid who, for a prank, a bunch of older kids tell him to, uh, knock on this creepy guy's door and he does and then the, per the person who lives in the house ends up being a monster and then, um takes the kid out on Halloween night and has him do a bunch of like evil prank stuff and basically like destroy shit and and do burn shit and stuff like that um, and then it goes from there and then there's a twist at the end. Story three is called uh, Trick and it's about these kids who, this, 
these adults are having a party and drinking and watching Night of the Living Dead, and then this trick-or-treater comes to the door and stabs the guy, and <laughs> she's like, trick! And then you get this killer kid story, um, and these little kids being vicious to these adults, but then there's a twist in that too, and then, you know, the whole plot takes a whole, like, 180 with that one. Uh, there's this, the fourth story is this uh, gang, this really vicious gang, that, um, Inter interrogates this older kid dressed in a costume kind of thing and then you have a flashback of what happened to all of them as children and something really sinister happened when they were kids and then when they grew up now you have this gang and then this kid is being chased by the gang but the kid is able to do like spells and summon this monster thing and it goes from there um story number five has lin shay in it this one's weak this one is definitely it seems pointless to me Lin Shay is hosting a Halloween party and then this girl leaves the Halloween party and the story that Lin Shay told at the Halloween party kind of comes true but she's just driving home and then she gets scared because she hears a cackling behind her which was part of the story and then this like you know woman with teeth and no hair shows up at the woman's house and then it ends there so it's like very anticlimactic and very sans scares like there's nothing to it it's just she leaves the halloween party and then this evil woman shows up and nothing happens it was really weird really really anticlimactic um the sixth story is um kind of sad in a sense it's it's the hansel and gretel story but with a lot of twists you have this childless couple where the woman can't get pregnant and she has no kids so she hates Halloween because she hates seeing kids have fun and she wants her own kid to have fun but then it turns into this thing where she's she's Gretel I guess um or not not Gretel the, the evil witch who brings kids to cook them and eat them it goes it goes into the Hansel and Gretel story but with trick-or-treaters and Halloween night instead um and weird things happen but it's really weird it's really disturbing and it's also really sad that one um Number seven is one of my favorites. It's called This Means War. And it's literally between two feuding neighbors who want to do the best Halloween display. And one guy does it like every single year and he's like the, the neighborhood guy. And then the, this new guy who's like a metalhead and loves Halloween moves in across the street. And he does like a way more brilliant, better job than the guy who's been doing it for years. So then they start feuding. It's hilarious. I love that segment. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, one in three are, are up there for my favorites, but seven, this means war was hilarious. Number eight is called Friday the 31st. And literally it's just a, a version of a Jason story. Um, I liked it until they introduced, uh, UFOs in it. And then it just got weird. And, uh, it, it's supposed to be a horror comedy too. So I didn't like the comedy aspect too much. I felt like if they just stuck with the Jason stuff, it'd be more thrilling and entertaining, but it is what it is. Uh, number nine is, is really good. Um, Number nine is by a different director. It seems to connect to number two in a way, and I'm not going to say what way it is, but it definitely, there's a, there's a character in it that seems like the exact character from the second segment. I don't know if that was on purpose. I don't know if it is, or, or if it's just a coincidence that they look the same and act the same. But um, number nine, basically, these two guys want to hold this child for ransom so they could kidnap this trick-or-treater on Halloween night. And they take him to this warehouse and then start negotiating on the phone with his father. Except his father says like, oh, you made the biggest mistake of your life. And the kid doesn't actually end up being a kid. He ends up being something else. So that was fun. And then the last one uh, is basically just about a monster pumpkin. Like an actual jack-o'-lantern that starts getting green legs and walking around all over the place like a little spider creature. And biting people's heads off. And, and then there's this precinct that these this female cop and this male cop go after the pumpkin and the pumpkins just wrecking havoc all over the neighborhood. So um, yeah, that's the stories and they're all they're all they're all so Halloween inspired and, and so authentic that I had to put this in first place. This is the best film I watched so far this year. We'll see if tomorrow's beats it. But because of the Halloween atmosphere and the spirit of the season in this in this movie, it feels like Halloween to a T and it feels like fall to a T. So it's just it's perfect. It's it's got that like that trick-or-treat Halloween vibe, trick-or-treat is a much better film, so don't get that mixed up. This is not as good as trick-or-treat. Trick-or-treat is, is like a five-star film to me. And there's another film that I want to recommend. It's called Bad Candy. Bad Candy. Uh, it stars um, 
uh, fuck, Slipknot guy, um, Corey Taylor. It stars Corey Taylor as uh, the narrator and the the host who does the wraparound of the story, but Bad Candy is an anthology. I can't review it for 31 Days of Horror because I've already seen it, and I do first-time watches only, but um, I recommend strongly Bad Candy, which also does beat this in its atmosphere. It's such a good Halloween anthology. But this one is up there when it comes to Halloween anthologies of great ones. This one is great and I had a blast with it and this is one that I'll be watching uh, continuously around fall. Like pretty much every fall I'll be watching Tales of Halloween. I can almost almost guarantee that. So uh, it's great. I f fully recommend it and um, yeah I recognize basically I recognize a lot of these directors by name but I'll have to look them up but the one that I definitely know is Lucky McKee. Um, the other guys like I said their names sound familiar but I'm not 100% sure, but the film is awesome. So that's Tales of Halloween, a uh, great anthology to add to this mix. And um, uh, go check it out if you haven't already. And it's a lot of fun. So uh, that's day 30. We only got one more to go and I've had a blast with this one. Uh, check out the previous years that I have on the channel. I've done this four times already. This is the fifth year I'm doing this. And uh, check out everything from this year as well. Subscribe if you're enjoying it and um, check out more. And uh, until tomorrow, Halloween night. Keep things spooky. Enjoy your fall season. Enjoy your Halloween. Cheers.